Glassnode co-founder predicts another bull run for Bitcoin amid the sideways trading action. Glassnode, for anyone that needs to know, for all intents and purposes, is the statistics curating platform for crypto in the space, and they do all the analysis on the crypto market. So this guy knows a thing or two about bull markets, and we're going to talk about that today and what they think. So welcome back to the Blockcast channel. Let's talk crypto. Make sure to check out our Patreon. We do chart analysis Monday through Friday. Make sure to also check out our sponsor, BNFT. They are revolutionizing education using really unique DeFi methods and artificial intelligence AI. Links are in the description below. All right. So Bitcoin has been trading within a narrow range for the past 12 days. We all know that. Nonetheless, the fact that the bulls have held the crucial 30,000 support level is seen as a short term win for them. We'll pull this up real quick. As you can see on the daily chart, Bitcoin has popped up and it has held pretty steady. It's having a little bit of a correction today, but still over 30,000, still going strong. So this sideways trading sets the stage for a bullish momentum potentially. So according to Jan Ailman, the co-founder of blockchain analytics firm Glassnode, Bitcoin's recent sideways trading has paved the way for potential bullish momentum very shortly. Now, Bitcoin's current range bound trading between 31.2 and 29.6 is seen as a consolidation period allowing for a reestablishment of bullish momentum in the market. Now, again, this isn't just some random person saying that Bitcoin's consolidating, that must be bullish. You know, this is the guy behind one of the most important crypto analytics firms out there. So they know what they're talking about when they say that this is a very bullish sign. So to assess market sentiment and potential price movements in the Bitcoin market, Glassnode has developed a proprietary metric called the Swiss block risk signal. This metric considers various factors, including volatility, on-chain activity, social sentiment, and more. In the context of Almonds, 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 someone comment in the description below how stupid I am, what, how to pronounce his name, Almond, Almond. Almonds, almonds and analysis, the Swiss block risk signal has remained stable at zero as seen in the chart below, which suggests that the current market sentiment is neutral with no clear dominance from either buyers or sellers. This could indicate that the market is in a consolidation phase as buyers and sellers are cautious before making any significant moves. Additionally, Ailman predicts that Bitcoin will likely break above 31,200, proving, providing a strong foundation for buyers to target resistance levels of 33 and 34.8. However, even if the support at 29.6 were to break, Elman believes that remaining bullish until the 50% retracement level near 28.2 seems viable. So Bitcoin could potentially fall back as low as 28.2 and still we would be in a bullish territory. Um, but it's looking like it wants to break to the upside. So Bitcoin is facing a critical moment as its price fluctuates within this narrow range and warns market analyst, uh, market analyst, analyst, market analyst, Michael Van de Pop warns about this very thing. So within Bitcoin's lows being taken again, Van de Pop believes that if it fails to recover soon, it could test support at 28.5. Okay, 28.5 would put it, you know, back squarely down here kind of the range it was in before. Uh, this purple box we've had, it's like literally smack in the middle. So we're kind of still in that purple box. And we've hovered to the bottom of that purple box, broke below it, but we came back up into it. And now we're at the very top of it, trying to break out. We've tried a couple times, but we have not held yet. So that's the key. Can we get that final pop? You also got the moving average on the Bollinger Band and a lot of things coinciding. Looking at the moving averages, we're above everything, including the 20 day. Um, so, you know, Bitcoin's potentially going to retest some of those. We'll keep an eye on that in the future. Anyways, to wrap this up, um, yeah, you have very smart people that are cautiously optimistic, but in particular, when you have someone that again runs one of the most important and largest crypto analytics and data crunching firms, Glassnode, telling you that it's, this is very bullish for Bitcoin, one should listen. So I'll leave it on that note. I'm very excited for July in general. I think the market finally is going to get some relief and I think that will trickle down into altcoins too. So I'm going to be doing some more chart analysis videos soon. I've been holding off because it's just been very quiet until like the past week or so when you have the BlackRock ETF filings and everything. 
subsequently that followed after that. So we'll, we'll cover those in detail too soon. But for today, that's enough. Uh, please like this video, comment your thoughts down below. If you think this is bullish, if you think this is a nothing burger, let me know. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you already do, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Cheers. Mm -hmm.